Right, so uh, today's episodic installation is going to be based around, again, over the last uh, little bit of time, uh, again, I'm trying to do more and more shows. I should probably remove this little thing here because, duh, this is the double dip. Um, but uh, I've been doing more and more shows uh, because there's just so much to unpack here with uh, the capital uh, terror attack, coup attempt, whichever you uh, select, you know, insurrection or whatever, whichever, you know, grouping of words that I endorse uh, that you want to use. Um, and so... I have a story that I want to tell about the Republicans and the individuals around Donald Trump that enabled him. Again, you think Trump could do all of this by himself? He utilized the fomented anger and the decisive, destructive kind of like rage in the heart of the Republican Party to build a movement that would do whatever he wanted. And that was the project over the last five years, was to convert the Republican Party apparatus into the cult of Trump Party. And as we could see on January 6th, that was victorious. But all the Republicans are going to now try to jump ship. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. I, I, don't, I don't endorse this. I didn't mean it. I, it wasn't my fault. Oh, so let's read. This is from The Hill. Republican senators now regret dot dot dot. I already scrolled down. So Republican senators say they feel a sense of growing regret over not standing up to President Trump sooner. A day after a violent mob ransacked the Capitol building in one of the darkest and most humiliating days in U.S. history. Agreed. One Republican senator who requested anonymity, also known as a beta male. Again, you're going to elect a beta male to to the Senate? I can understand maybe throwing a beta male into the House of Representatives, right? You could use a couple of beta males just to even things out. But you're going to elect a beta male to the Senate? Have you no shame? So anyway, we should have done more to push back both against his rhetoric and some of the things he did legislatively said the beta male. The mistake we made is that we always thought it was going to get better. We thought that once he got the nomination and then once he got a cabinet, he was going to be better. <laughs> it was going to be more presidential. Are you on drugs? <laughs> like what? Is this guy on drugs? Whoever this is, right? Because they won't tell us. Are they on drugs? What? Many Republicans are shell-shocked over the horrific scenes at the Capitol and seem to be trying to come to grips with their role in the disaster. The mob that hit the Capitol was filled with people who believed Trump's claims of a rigged election, despite a lack of any serious evidence. It served as a symbol of the fact that many Americans are now moving through reality no longer based on real facts or the truth. Hello, thank you for refreshing the page. The GOP senator, also known as the Beta Cuck, said he and his colleagues expected Trump would eventually accept the results of the election after courts ruled against his legal team's challenges, 60 times by the way, which were resoundingly dismissed by Republican and Democratic appointed judges alike. But Trump never did. And most Republicans, including Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, held back any sharp criticism. This was largely because the Republicans calculated they needed Trump to get out the vote in the two runoff races to decide the Senate majority in Georgia. Again, you're going to elect a beta male to the United States Senate? What? Like, I, I literally cannot imagine, like, you are an individualist, you are a patriot, you spend years talking about how much you hate soy boy Antifas, and then you're going to go into the voting booth and vote for a fucking beta male who won't stand up to the fucking corporate gangster in the White House? Sad. Sad. Republicans were worried Trump's rhetoric was too focused on his unsubstantiated claims of fraud and feared it could backfire. But criticisms of the president 
The criticism of the president was muted, as it was for much of the last four years. McConnell finally ripped the challenges by Trump and his allies of the election results in a floor speech Wednesday, shortly before the Senate was overtaken by thugs. It was also the day the Georgia gambit proved a failure and Democrats won control of the Senate. The Republican leadership explained repeatedly that we needed Trump to help get the votes out, said the lawmaker, who added that colleagues worried that the president would find a way to sabotage them in the Georgia runoff races if they quickly acknowledged Joe Biden as president-elect or forcefully dismissed claims of widespread voter fraud. A second Republican senator who requested anonymity said that Trump has inflicted serious damage on his party. You know, I would say that his is like a giveaway, but it's not really because like, how many women senators are there in the GOP? Like three? Really? Like three or four? I don't know. Either way. Every time you think the president has done everything he could possibly do to fuck things up, then he comes out with a tweet like the election was invalid and the one in Georgia would be invalid, said the lawmaker, referring to Trump's tweets Friday, declaring the runoff elections to be illegal and invalid. I remember that so good. The feelings of remorse are now only are only now being expressed privately after Republican senators spent much of the past four years dodging questions about Trump's controversial tweets, statements, and decisions. Senator Lindsey Graham, like the cracker, on Thursday said Trump had tarnished his legacy by not condemning Wednesday's debacle at the Capitol. Graham, like the cracker, defended his support for Trump over the past four years as being driven by constituents at home who wanted him to work with the president. But he said, it breaks my heart that my friend, a president of consequence, were allowed or were to allow yesterday to happen. And it will be a major part of his presidency. Again, I mean, these people are embarrassing. Like, they're pathetic. They're pathetic. These people are fucking, ugh. Literally the physical personification of soy. Asked if he should have spoken out more when Trump crossed the line during his four years in office, Graham, like the cracker, acknowledged he could have, but also deflected blame on the media for not covering the president more fairly. I have spoken up, he said. All I can say is that I have shared my thoughts with the president. I have spoken up when I thought I should. What? What? Like, I literally can't. This article is so long, but it's got, like, so many good Easter eggs. I'm going to keep going. Senate Republican whip John Thune on Wednesday said Trump's rhetoric created a political headwind for Senators Kelly and David, who both lost the races uh, that GOP senators had expected them to win. There were really mixed messages being sent, which is not helpful, because you had a lot of voters who were confused about whether or not their vote was going to matter. When the most effective argument is you're going to be a check and balance against a Biden-Pelosi-Schumer agenda, but you can't acknowledge that Biden won, it puts you in a really difficult position. That's correct. Senator Mitt Romney, an outspoken Trump critic and the only GOP senator to vote to convict him on an article of impeachment in February, on Wednesday accused Trump of inciting an insurrection and warned that Republicans such as Senators Ted Cruz and Josh Hawley, who are publicly sympathetic to the president's claims of widespread voter fraud, are participating in a dangerous gambit. Whatever that means. Like, he could just call them dumb motherfuckers, but no, he's going to say this fucking stupid, oh, my senatorial speech. He warned that they will be remembered for their role in this shameful episode of American history, which I agree with. So, uh, some dumb bitch named uh, Kramer, I guess. Not to be confused with the uh, character on Seinfeld, of course. I do think that the president bears some responsibility. Certainly, he bears responsibility for his own actions and his own words. And today, in watching his speech, I have to admit, I gasped. Kramer said Trump's treatment of Pence was unjustified, wrong, and is really, really unfortunate. Trump declared in a tweet, since deleted, that Pe Mike Pence didn't have the courage to do what should have been done to protect our country and our constitution. 
Unbelievable. I've known Mike Pants forever, Inhofe told the Tulsa World. I've never seen Pants as angry as he was today. Inhofe also said that Trump should have done more to stop the rioting. He only put out some one statement I'm aware of. He said this was really a riot. The, you know, he should have been more disdain for the rioters. I don't even say he should have apologized. That's not exactly accurate, but he should have expressed more disdain. Whatever the fuck, I don't know. Yo, these people are fucking ridiculous. And I wanted to read out all the shit that I had uh, highlighted because I want you to know how fucking dumb these motherfuckers are. Like, these are dumb ass motherfucking motherfuckers. And I want you to know that, right? The Republican Party is a terrorist organization. Everyone that did not vote to convict Donald Trump back in, what was it, January or whatever, they should all be sent to prison, as far as I'm concerned. They enabled this to happen. He was guilty of a crime. He was guilty of other crimes that they knew and didn't impeach him on, which is my problem with the Democrats, but he was guilty of a crime, objectively speaking, and the cult of Trump party decided to absolve him of his sins. And then he spent an extra year in the White House raising an insurrection against the United States of America. They need to all be sent to prison and marched out in handcuffs and those little ankle cuffs too and the ball and chain. Because these motherfuckers are dumb motherfuckers. And I swear to God, if I'll be damned if I have a dumb motherfucker in the Senate trying to destroy my country, right? Back me up. This is my country or something. I don't know. Whatever. My point is these guys are fucking lame.